had this. Stuff. Okay. So that has been Metal Gear Solid 2: Sons of Liberty. What do I think? I? I will say this: uh, as much as I completely bashed on this game, is not the worst game ever. Wait a minute. When was Mei Ling in what? When did Mei Ling show up? What are you talking about? I don't remember. Tell me, remind me, guys, when Mei Ling showed up out of nowhere. Um, anyways, um, as I said before, I don't completely hate this game, but there could have been a lot of things better. I mean, the ending's, I guess, good? I guess? I don't know. Um, and they had some of the appropriate characters. Like, I really like the Fortune character. I fucking hate it, Vamp, I'll be honest. Uh, Fat Man was crazy. Um, Solidus was confusing. He's not a very good main villain at all. Like... Now that I think about it, Liquid's not a good villain. <laughs> what did Liquid had in the original? Like, what made him good was his cronies. Sniper Wolf, Vulcan Raven, uh, uh, fucking Psycho Mantis. They made him look good. He himself, it's like Batman fighting against his villains. Like, what does Batman have? His, the reason why we love Batman so much is because of his villains. It's weird. I, I don't know. Like, could have made better villains. They made one good villain. That's about it. Is this song caught? This song gotta be copyrighted or something. I don't know. Raiden. I'll be honest, wasn't as bad as I thought he would be. I thought it would be painful or something, but he's painful enough, but not too painful. The relationship between him and Rosemary could have been built up, but then it was in like close to the end. And then it was like kind of falling apart, and then it was like, fucking hell, what's going on? And with all the trolling, it's like, I mean, it was funny, but it was like, what the fuck? Is this really needed? And we still don't know what the fuck happened to Colonel. We know he's an AI in this game, but what happened to the real Colonel? Unless they're going to explain this after the credits? And Snake, so why, I, uh... I think I was just expecting too much from this game. Like, from the build-up of Metal Gear Solid, I expected a great sequel, and it didn't li live up to its expectations. Uh, now, I'm really debating or not if I truly do hate this game or not, honestly. Like, it has the good setups. It has the ideas to make a good game. But I didn't enjoy it whatsoever. Not at all. That's my final thoughts, I guess. And, um, I guess I had to ramble on until the credits die out. But, honestly, I did not have fun with this game whatsoever. As, uh, like, I fucking love Metal Gear Solid. And you know, if you see my Let's Play, you know how much I fucking love Metal Gear Solid 1. This was a really vi very disappointing sequel to me. Anyways, I, I really can't wait for Metal Gear Solid 3 because unlike um previous games where I could kind of pinpoint about the cutscenes, Metal Gear Solid 3 is the game with which I know nothing about. I did not even watch any of the cutscenes back then. I think I skipped uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 and went to Metal Gear Solid 4, so Metal Gear Solid 3 will be completely blind for me. I know nothing. The closest I've gotten for Metal Gear Solid 3 is playing the demo on the 3DS version, which sucked because the controls are weird. So... I am looking forward to Metal Gear Solid 3, and I heard from a lot of people, Metal Gear Solid 3 is a lot better, and it really shows once you play the game. I'm gonna be a little bit skeptical, but for the most part, I really can't wait to play Metal Gear Solid 3, and I really hope it's a good game. For all of our sakes. Huh. Yeah, I don't like this game. I think I say this obviously clear. It's not the worst game I played. Far from it, no, without a doubt. But it could have been a lot better. I'm not sure if it's gonna hold up to the original Metal Gear Solid if it was a lot better, but uh, I just felt there's so many things made wrong when it comes to story elements and character development. They could have built up upon that. I guess the gameplay was um, improved compared to the original Metal Gear Solid because I remember I, well, my experience for Metal Gear Solid 1 was the Twin Snakes version which was uh, the gameplay version for 
such a liberty. So, I could I can't say if the gameplay has been really improved. But then again, it's an HD remake. It's not like it's not like I'm playing the PlayStation 2 or the original Xbox version. No, no, this is the HD remake version. Meaning, even if it's just a remake, they shouldn't just copy and paste it. They could have improved on many things instead. But, no, they just kept it the same shit, and I'm not 100% sure about that. Maybe they actually made some new improvements. I ha I think I really have to play the original in the PlayStation 2 in order to really understand if there's any differences. But most likely, there are not many differences at all. It's not like the leap from Metal Gear Solid 1 to Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. No, this is just... Oh, no. One by one, there's not too much of a graphical improvement. It's just hd -ified. Much like every other remake. But, uh... Yeah, that's why I think for Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> I've stressed that enough enough. I... I, I, I see where it's going, but... I just don't know. I really don't know what I think about this game. It's not bad, but it's not as good as everyone says it is. At all. The final boss was a disappointment, good god. The Metal Gear bosses, oh my god, I hate that so much. In fact, let me talk about the boss battle. The only one I enjoy really enjoyed was Fat Man. That's it. Every other boss battle, like, think about this. In, in Metal Gear Solid 1, all the boss battles, even the ones I really despise, I knew it was from my gameplay standpoint. Like, especially when I was attacking the tank in Metal Gear Solid 1. I sucked at it, but at least I... Admit I sucked at it, and I probably should have restocked with rations. And even if I did restock with rations, I probably would have done a lot better. All the boss battles, especially like Sniper Wolf's boss battle, Vulcan Raven's boss battle, the final boss scene with well, not the not the turret section, but the battle against Liquid and Snake, that was really good. This one just felt really tacked in. I didn't like it at all. So that's my final thoughts on Metal Gear Solid 2. If there's gonna be an epilogue, yes there is. Life isn't just about passing on your genes. It's about living, I get it. Behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature, and movies. Is this game telling me to get a life and stop playing this video game? Because I am all for this. Joy and sorrow. I, I can't tell if this game is self-aware or not, but the fact that the I Colonel was trolling me to like turn off the game system. And such. We need to pass the torch. It's like this game is telling me stop playing this game. As if it knows it's bad or something. Of the digital age to do that with. And I just. The human race will probably come to an end sometime, and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Uh. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Again, it has a good morals, just could have built up upon it in the beginning of the end. <laughs> Instead of focusing more on their story, they could have focused more on their moral, and then maybe I would have liked it a little bit more. Huh. <sighs> so that has been Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. No cliffhangers, it seems like. Unless. Unless Snake, there we go. Okay, it's me. Autocar. Just going over that disc. Did you find the Patriots list? Of course. It contains the personal data of twelve people. Oh shit. There was a name on it. Snake. It was one of our biggest contributors. What? What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but. But what? They're already dead. What? Twelve of them. When did it happen? What? Well. Uh, Ocelot? A hundred years ago. Huh? What the hell? And I'm pretty sh. What? Huh? I don't know what happened. <laughs> what the hell happened? Anyway, so hundred years ago, that's like 1907. And Metal Gear Solid 3 takes place in 1963. So I'm, I'm assuming Metal Gear Solid 3 has nothing to do with Metal Gear Solid 2. And then they may be gonna, maybe gonna build up Metal Gear Solid 2 in Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Ugh. My brain hurts just from thinking. Uh Now what? Um. Is this it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Did the game crash? I'm pressing the home button. Oh, whoa, wait, hold on. Oh. <laughs> I thought the game crashed for a second, but I just forgot to turn on the controller. Oh my god, that would've been terrible. That would've been the worst thing ever. Elef- what? Code name Elephant? Huh? Well, at least that's better than Mongoose. What I got before. Cut from above. Beat the tanker and plant chapters on any difficulty? What does that- I seriously don't understand what the plank and tanker thing means. But, uh... Whatever. New item obtained? Digital camera. You've got a camera you can use in the tanker episode. What? You got the camera you can use in the plant episode. I guess I'll save. Is this gonna be like New Game Plus or what? What does the plant and tanker mean? Like, am I playing- is there like multiple different stories if I go to the tanker version instead of the plant version? Like, what the hell? What does that mean? I thought it was like a difficulty thing at first, but then the difficulty actually merged? I don't know. Whoa, the title screen looks different. It's blue instead of red. Um... Anyways, uh... That was Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Thank you guys so much for watching, and then... I think I'm gonna take a huge break on Metal Gear Solid for now, honestly, like... I've been through a lot for this game. I think it's time for a break, and then maybe I'll have a refreshed mind or something, like... I don't know. I don't know when um, this episode's gonna be uploaded. I'm assuming around October-ish. Or it's gonna continue on to November. Who knows? But, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next Metal Gear Solid game, which will be Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, Snake Eater, right? Is it, is it called Snake Eater? Hold on. It's called Snake Eater, right? Right? <laughs> I'm not wrong in this, right? I'm completely right? Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. That'll be the next game we play. Oh, boy. So, um, just a quick note. Is there any difference between the PS2 ver uh, because I know there's, like, an extension version on the PS2. They made a remake of Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm not sure if this uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 version is the remake or the original. I'll have to research on that though, but uh, most likely I'm going to be playing it on the HD collection once again. Anyway, so yeah, let's just end this episode already. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the future by Let's Plays. This is Baser signing out.